Deepthi Sarangya Shejala. Welcome to UC Btech. Today we are going to discuss about and transmission media, which is one of the most important concept in computer networks. By using this transmission media only, we can send the data or we can communicate data from source to destination. Let us get into the topic. What is meant by transmission media? In data communication technology, a transmission medium is a physical path between the transmitter and the receiver or we can say that source and destination or sender and the receiver. So physical path means it is and one of the communication channel, a physical hardware. Okay, we can call it as communication channel and it is a channel through which the data is sent from one place to another. Okay, from one place to another the data will be sent through the transmission media and the receiver will be received that data. The data is transmitted through the electromagnetic signals and the main functionality of the transmission media is to carry the information, carry the information in the form of bits. Okay, through the electromagnetic signals, the data is transmitted from source to destination. Okay, and the data is in the form of rabbits or bit format. Okay, let us watch the diagram how the data is transmitting from source to destination. In which form it is transmitting, let us watch in the diagram here. Okay, see, this is a diagram. Okay. Sender, we have a sender and receiver. So, physical layer. Okay. From this physical layer only, we can send the data to the receiver. In between, we have a transmission media. Can you notice here, we have a cable or air. Cable or air means this transmission media is in the form of two types. Two types. Connection oriented. We can establish a connection both connection oriented or connection less. It may be in connection oriented or connection less. So in previous we discussed that the data is in the form of bits. Is in the form of bits. See this is the diagram of an digital data you see the pulses here this is a digital transformation digital data okay we know that digital data means ones and zeros ones and zeros so we can say that the transmission media the transmission media transmit the data through the electromagnetic signals and the data will be in the form of ones and zeros which is nothing but an bits or we can say that is a digital data. See in the below diagram electric current light pulses electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves means it is a wireless communication. It is a wireless communication or connection less. These two belongs to the connection oriented or wide communication. We can say that wide communication or connection oriented. Wide communication. Okay, this is an actual diagram how the data uh, sends from source to destination through the physical medium. How the data is converted in the middle of the physical medium. Okay, see, next. The transmission media is available in the lowest layer of OSA reference model that is physical, physical layer. See, the characteristics and the quality of data transmission, the characteristics and the quality of data transmission are determined by the characteristics of medium and signal. See, the quality of the medium is too strong. If the quality is high, but we are establishing a transmission medium from sender to the receiver. See, this transmission medium is in very quality manner and we have a quality signal. The data is transmitted in a reliable pattern. Reliable pattern means the actual data we can send from source to destination. There is no noise in between transmission of data. 
okay there is no chance for errors and there is no chance for of noise enter into the data while transmitting from source to the destination and the transmission media is broadly classified into the following types classified into the following following types see this is a diagram so transmission media this can be divided into two types guided media unguided media connection oriented or wide communication connection oriented or we can say that wide communication if this is unguided media connection less wireless communication connection less wireless communication and this guided media again divided into three types twisted pair coaxial fiber optic twisted pair coaxial fiber optic and this unguided media will be divided into three types radio waves microwaves infrared waves radio waves microwaves infrared waves let us discuss deeply what is meant by guided media and what is meant by unguided media and what are the different types we have in wide communication as well as the wireless communication let us get into the topic so guided media guided media before going to the guided media the transmission media is we can create a physical structure of network by using this transmission media we can create a physical structure of network which is known as topology which is known as topology and it is one of the functionality of the physical layer topology means it is a physical structure network structure network structure how the network formed in following ways we have a different type of topologies here bus topology star topology ring topology tree topology mesh topology hybrid topology let us see what is meant by bus topology star topology how the uh, how we can uh, structure that type of network in which form let us watch in the diagram here so bus topology in bus topology we have a one single cable one transmission media and the single cable will act as an backbone 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 means by using that cable only different devices will be connected by using this cable only different devices will be connected c so number of devices are connected by using this single cable and we can transmitting the data from one device to the other by using this cable only okay i am transmitting data source this is and destination i am taking an example here i am sending the data through this cable wire and the destination will be received by the data okay so this cable will act as an backbone this is an one physical structure of a network okay bus topology it looks like an bus so topology means is one of the physical structure so we can call this name as bus topology and next star topology star topology means it look like a star we can observe here star topology okay in this the central the hub will act as a central controller the hub will act as a central controller central controller central controller okay so the all devices will be connected to the hub while we are sending and receiving the information through the hub only from source to destination we can send and receive the information through the hub only so for example we'll take this is a sender and this is a receiver if i want to send the data the data will be received by a hub and the hub will send that particular information to the receiver okay 
this is a star topology it look like a star and is this is the one type of physical structure of network and next ring topology this is the ring topology the systems are connected in the form of ring and here there is only unidirectional communication unidirectional communication so in this network in this uh, in this topology only one system will communicate at the same time there is only unidirectional communication the sender, sender just sends, sends the data, data to, to the receiver, receiver. There, there is no, no reverse process, process. means bidirectional, bidirectional communication, communication is not possible, possible in ring topology, topology. So, so why we call this is a ring, ring topology means the systems are connected in the form of ring, ring. Next. next tree topology so see tree topology means this, this device will act as a root node and, and we have, have a sublinks root node and we have a sublinks see it, it looks look like sentry like then, then only we call it as tree topology so, so it, it is, is a combination of both bus topology, topology and star topology. topology it is a combination of both bus topology, topology and star topology and the next one mesh topology. topology mesh topology is also one of the physical structure the cables are connected, uh, each and every node will be connected to the next system with a different pass, C. So this is a mesh topo uh, topology, there is no central controller, means hub and switch, there is no concept of communication device here. Through the transmission media only, we can connect the nodes in different paths, different paths. That, that is, is a mesh topology, topology and hybrid topology. So, so hybrid topology is nothing but a combination of one or more topologies. See, we, we can identify here. This is a bus topology. It looks like, like a bus topology. And this is a ring topology. And this is a star topology. You can easily identify. So the combination of two or more topologies, we can call it as a hybrid topology. So by using a transmission media, we can create a physical structure of the network in different types. By using a cable only, we can maintain a different type of physical structures of the network. And this physical structure we can call in technical word is topology. Okay. So let us get into the guided media. Okay. Next, guided media. So, the guided media is also referred as wide or bounded transmission media. Signals being transmitted or directed and confined in a narrow pathway by using physical links. This is guided media means it is a wide or bounded transmission media. Through the physical path, we can communicate data from source to the destination. So, what are the advantages for wide communication? We will, we, we will use a wide communication here and what are the advantages means high speed, secure and we can, uh, we can give available data from source to the destination. So, but what is the disadvantages by using a guided media means only short distance we can perform because uh, for long distance we can't uh, take that wide from source to the destination to remote areas. Okay, so the guided media is divided into three types twisted pair coaxial cable optical fiber let us get into the first one twisted pair cable so twisted pair cable it is a physical media made up of a pair of cables two pairs here the cables are twisted two cables are twisted and we have a four pairs like that we have a four pairs like that a twisted pair cable is why we use a twisted pair cable for communication in the network means that the twisted pair cable is very cheap as compared to other transmission media installation of the twisted twisted pair cable is also very easy and it is a lightweight cable lightweight cable and the frequency range for twisted pair cable is from 0 to 3.5 kilohertz 0 to 3.5 kilohertz. So, coming to the twisted pair, this twisted pair divided into two types. This twisted pair cable divided into two types. Unshielded twisted pair and shielded twisted pair. Mainly we are using in the network unshielded twisted pair. Unshielded twisted pair cable. Because it is very cheap 
and, and we, we can uh, communicate data very easily from source to the destination in lan communication mainly we use an udp cable see unshielded twisted bay and unshielded twisted bay is widely used in telecommunication so first of all this udp cable is used in the telecommunication purpose later it come into the lan communication means local area network we are using a udp cable you can also observe the wire If, if you have a lan connection in your home just, just observe that, that is an udp cable either it is cat3 or cat5 and, and the following categories of unshielded twisted bay so we have a different type of categories of udp cable category 1 so the cat1 is used for telephone lines that have low speed data so for telephone lines we use an category 1 category 2 It, it can, can support, support up to 4 mbps and it is also used for an telephone line from, from category 3 onwards we used the udp cable for local area network network communication we using a uh, cat3 cable it can support 16 mbps cat4 it can support 20 mbps and used for long distance communication okay category 5 it can support up to 200 mbps present we are using an cat5 cable in our local area network connection so this is an unshielded twisted pair see this diagram i will show you in large manner okay so this is an unshielded twisted pair this is a outer jacket outer jacket means our actual wire to protect inner wires so we call it as outer jacket and these are the twisted pair twisted pair means here we have a two wires you can observe it here two wires that will be twisted so here the circle you find this circle observe this circle the two wires are twisted okay we have a four pairs like that we have a four pairs like that and what are the colors we have an utp cable means orange white orange green white green blue white blue brown white brown so we have a eight cables okay and each two cables are twisted each other and the colors or we have a, the colors of whites in utp cable is orange white orange green white green blue white blue brown white brown for lan communication how the cables are twisted means the first pair is orange white orange and second pair is green white blue green white blue for lan communication i am telling clearly observe that for lan communication the color coding of utp is the first one orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white brown so orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white brown this is an straight cabling straight cabling means point to point communication sorry straight cabling means uh, hub to switch uh, hub to device device to hub okay both the ends are same in a straight cabling device to hub we are connecting so this is the color combination of utp cable this is an color combination of utp cable okay so these are the different categories we have an unshielded twisted pair what are the advantages and disadvantages let us see advantages of unshielded twisted pair it is cheap installation of unshielded twisted pair is easy it can be used for high speed lan okay it is very cheap uh, we can install a utp cable is very easy 
and it has an high speed we are using an category 5 it can support up to 200 mbps the disadvantage is this cable can only be used for short distances because of attenuation because uh, while communicating data by using this cable from source to destination there is a noise will come in between the cable for long distances it will, the noise will make higher and higher for that sake for short distance only we can communicate through the guided media from source to destination and there is a little bit electromagnetic interference will be appear by using utp cable that is on one of the disadvantage so we have so many advantages of utp for that sake we are using utp cable till now for land communication next shield shielded twisted pair a shielded twisted pair is a cable that contains the mesh surrounding the wire that allows the higher transmission rate to reduce crosstalk we use stp we are not using stp uh, stp in our uh, land communication in our network communication land communication whatever it may be why means it is very high cost and very bulkier and the installation of course the installation is easy but is it is very bulkier and high cost for that sake we are avoiding a shielded twisted pair for network communication we are avoiding shielded twisted pair for network communication because of highly expensive we are using a utp instead of stp so here really expensive but there is a advantage by using an stp cable that means it reduces the cross talk so let us see the whole diagram how the stp cable uses and what are the parts we have in stp cable okay see this is the diagram of an stp cable we have a cable jacket we have a cable jacket and outer conductor and directory cords and inner connector these are the parts of the stp cable and we also have a barrier tape see these are the inner conductors by using this we can transmit the data through the electric signals we can transmit the data through the electromagnetic signals or electrical signals so this inner conductors will be covered by an dielectric cords that means the upper the upper layer of this inner conductors the upper layer of this so dielectric cords we can call it as an upper layer of inner conductors and this dielectric cords will be protected by an outer conductor from noise so this outer conductor is used mainly to protect these wires from noise to while delivering the data from source to the destination okay and these outer conductors will be protected by barrier tape as well as cable jacket and these outer conductor will be protected from barrier tape and cable jacket the outer conductor protects the dielectric cords inner conductors from noise so these are the different parts we have in a shielded twisted pair okay the main advantage is cross talk what is meant by cross talk so unwanted data will appear in the channel okay that is a cross talk by using shielded twisted pair we can avoid this cross talk and what are the disadvantages i already said that it is more expensive and what are the advantages of a stp cable means reduces cross talk and installation of stp is very easy it has higher capacity as compared to utp but the only thing is it is more expensive compared to utp and coaxial cable these are the different type uh, this is the twisted pair cable and we see the different types of twisted pair cable in later videos we will discuss the remaining guided media coaxial cable and optical fiber cable okay kindly like share subscribe easy btech for more videos thank you